Hello everybody, Skin Deep Beauty Vlogger here. I hope you're all really well. Today I have got a long awaited video. I'm so sorry for the delay. And this is the top 10 under 10 pounds makeup version. You may recall that I've already done this video for sort of skincare, hair care, body care. And I will link that down in the bar below if you haven't seen it. But a lot of you said in response to that video that you would like to see the makeup version. I've taken a while to do this video. And the reason for that is that I'm not just gonna come up with 10 products that are the first ones I think of. I really do want these to be my genuine top 10 under 10 pounds for you. Now, as tends to be the case with my favorites videos, these are gonna be in no particular order. Now, most of these are available at the drugstore, but if they're not available at the drugstore, then they are available at drugstore prices. So for example, e.l.f. and I've also got a NYX product in here as well. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to do these in the order that I would put them on my face. So first up are e.l.f. brushes. Not all of them. You may know that in my disappointing and overhyped products, I mentioned the e.l.f. stipple brush, which I really don't like. But I think that the Studio Line brushes in particular from e.l.f. are very good. They're fantastic value for money. I think the quality is good for the price. Um, I've got the powder brush here, which I don't use for powder. I actually use it for liquid foundation. It's a really densely packed synthetic brush, very soft. And this is just £3.75 here in the UK. I believe they're about $3, $3.50 in the US, so quite a bit cheaper. But, you know, it's still really cheap, even though we're paying an increased price over here in the UK. My favorite one, however, is the eyeshadow C brush, which is great for packing on color. It's a really sort of short but densely packed, again, synthetic brush. So you can use this for cream or powder formulations. It's really good for packing on pigments or, or really nice, intense colored eyeshadows. Love this, and I use this quite a lot Incidentally, just as a small aside, um, the product that I use, which is a drugstore one under £10, to clean my brushes with is, is the Johnson's No More Tears Baby Shampoo. I think this is fantastic for cleaning brushes with. It's cheap, readily available, and you know it does the job. So this is how I clean my brushes, regardless of whether they're the e.l.f. ones or my sort of higher-end brushes, such as my beloved Tom Ford one. My favourite drugstore foundation is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation. I haven't actually tried the original Healthy Mix Foundation, but I really love the serum one. I'm the shade 52. This is a very popular foundation, um, and for good reason. It's, um, it's just a really nice coverage. It does have a scent, so it's not going to be for everybody, but it's a really beautiful, creamy formula, buildable, just gives a really nice finish to the skin. This isn't a holy grail for me, um, the reason being that I prefer the, the lightweight feeling, despite the high coverage of my Makeup Forever HD foundation. And I also find that this doesn't wear quite as long. Like, I certainly couldn't rely on this to last me for a full day at work. However, for the price, and if you're on a budget, I think this is one of the best foundations you can get on the high street. Personally, I'm still on the hunt for the perfect blemish or spot concealer from the drugstore. For concealing blemishes and spots, I can't live without my Kat Von D concealer which is obviously more than 10 pounds well it's not available in the uk anyway because i like the bourgeois healthy mix serum foundation so much i'm quite tempted to try the concealer of that so do let me know if you've tried it but my favorite under eye concealer of all ones i've tried i've tried you know touche eclat um i've tried the natural brand lizelle I, i've tried a ton but the my favorite one at the moment is the rimmel wake me up concealer this is fantastic for under eyes it's brightening it's a very opaque formula that really helps to cover up the, my dark circles and um, i'm in the shade 010 ivory this is featured in a favorites video before a little goes a long way so this little bottle is going to last me a really long time it's just got a standard doe foot applicator so it's easy to apply and yeah i think for the price you cannot beat this so definitely check this out. I've got two blush favourites that are under £10. Firstly is a cream blush formula and that is the NYX Stick Blush in the shade Tea Rose, um, which is number five. Really convenient for on the go. Just twist it up and you can apply it either with your fingers or with a brush or directly from the tube and blend out. Um, this is the colour sort of straight from the tube. Obviously you would blend it out as it blended a little bit. I really like this, it doesn't clog my pores, it's a very pretty, everyday wearable look. One of my favourite blushes of all blushes, again, so not just because it's under £10, is the collection Shimmer Shades. And my favourite one is the Blushalicious, which is shade number two. 
Mine is sadly broken, but you know, it's still plenty of product in there and I do think this is gonna last me a really long time. I love the versatility of this because you can either use the shades individually or blend a couple together or swirl your brush and use all four use all four together to create a fifth colour. You could even get away with using a couple of these sort of more peachy toned ones as eyeshadows, so it's a very versatile palette. This is the sort of colour you get. I don't know how well that's going to show up. It's so pretty to wear. I have to say that I tend to wear this more in spring summer as opposed to winter, however, you know, I love this. It's a Skin Deep Beauty Blog Award winner and I would definitely recommend picking it up if you can. Moving on now, I've chosen a few eyeshadows that I think are fantastic value for under £10. Um, I don't think anyone will be surprised to see the sleek eyeshadow palettes. I've got a few of these, but I've chosen to show you the original here today. Um, really fantastic, almost sort of creamy and buttery feeling, although they are powders. I love the pigmentation of these, the fantastic value for money. You get 12 eyeshadows for around seven, eight pounds. You know, they don't feel flimsy and cheap. They're, they're pretty nice. And I love the variety of colors and looks that you can achieve with these. I think they're fantastic. Just swatched a few of the colors and literally I've just touched my finger to the shadows and this is how pigmented they are. They are fantastic. Um, I quite often use this colour on an eyeliner brush and use it as a liner as well, so they're great for that. And I know that a lot of people used to say that they sort of found that they were mainly um, shimmery colours, but they have now brought out some matte shades as well, although they do always tend to feature that single black um, matte eyeshadow as well. I also think that the L'Oreal Infallible shadows are really fantastic. I've got a couple here. I've got All Night Blue, which I featured in my Glamorous Navy Smoky Eye tutorial. Again, I'll link that below so you can see this in use. But these are sort of like a pressed pigment. Um, they come in a pot with a little sort of stopper in them, which you do need to keep in there just to protect the product. And then they are wonderfully pigmented. These, were, these do kind of remind me a little bit of the Chanel... Um, Illusion d'Ombre eyeshadows, at least in the formula, how it's sort of a cross between a cream and a powder, that sort of pressed pigment sort of feeling. This shade is permanent khaki or khaki. Um, I'm just going to swatch that one for you because I haven't done a tutorial using this one before, so that's the sort of colour. I mean, fantastically pigmented. Again, I just touched my finger into the shadow and, you know, you're getting really good payoff, you know, really good colour payoff there. These are absolutely fantastic. And what's more, they're really long wearing. They do live up to the infallible name. Certainly gone are the days of sort of chalky, horrible drugstore eyeshadows. You know, the quality these days is fantastic. Okay, so now I'm going to let you into my guilty little secret. And that is that I have a problem. If I like a product, I buy it in bulk. Um, so you can see that I really like the Maybelline Color Tattoo eyeshadows. These are really good value for money, cream eyeshadows. I think they're comparable to the MAC Paint Pots, which are nearly three times the price, at least here in the UK. Um, I've got a ton of colors. I've got some more neutral shades and also some bright ones. I'm just going to zoom through them really quickly. I have got Painted Purple. Electric Blue, which is from the Metallic range. Pomegranate Punk. I don't believe this one's available in the UK. This was a US purchase. Turquoise Forever. Eternal Gold. Pink Gold. And one of my favourites, Bad to the Bronze or On and On Bronze. Some of these do have different names depending on whether you're in the US or the UK. I'm just going to swatch Bad to the Bronze for you because it's my favourite. They live up to the 24 hour name, well I haven't tried wearing them for 24 hours because I take my makeup off, but they certainly are long wearing on the lid without creasing, fantastically pigmented, really beautiful and easy to work with, definitely one of my favourite drugstore launches of, I can't remember when these launched, I can't remember when these launched, but they're definitely one of my favourite recent drugstore launches, I think, I guess in the last couple of years. I almost feel like I'm doing the I Heart drugstore makeup tag, but um, Maybe I should do that because there are some more specific questions in there, so let me know if you'd like to see that. Another top product that's under £10 are these L'Oreal Intense Lipsticks. I really, really like these and I've worn them a lot in the last sort of autumn winter. Um, so I've got a couple here to show you. This is one of my favourite drugstore brights and I featured this, I believe... Oh, I can't remember. Gosh, that's really bad. I can't remember. I believe I featured this in my Valentine's Day makeup tutorial, which, again, 
If I'm correct in remembering that, I swear my memory's getting really bad, I'm going to link that in the bar below. I'm sure this was the lipstick I featured. This one is Intense Fuchsia. There's a swatch for you just there. Really great drugstore bright. I want to try out the Maybelline Vivids actually, so they may be replacing these as a favourite, who knows. Plum Passion, really gorgeous, sort of wintry berry colour that I wore a lot this last winter, it featured in a favourites, and Cheryl Cole had worn this on the X Factor, so that got a lot of hype um, a few months ago. And then this one is called Cassis Passion, and this is more of a, a red, well I guess a cherry colour. Um, I really like these, I think the gold packaging is pretty chic. They're a very creamy formula, pretty long wearing, although they're not a matte lipstick that's going to dry out your lips. Um, the only thing that I don't like about these is the smell. They've got a very old fashioned lipstick scent that I don't particularly enjoy. I think we've been really spoiled with the sort of MAC lipsticks, for example, that have that wonderful vanilla fragrance, you know. But then maybe a lot of people don't like the sweeter scented lipsticks, so you might like these. I, I personally find the scent of this these lipsticks pretty old-fashioned but everyone's different and it's a small price to pay for what is otherwise a really great quality drugstore lipstick last but by no means least are one of my all-time favorite lip formulas hence the ridiculously large collection I really 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 love the Revlon lip butters I can't get enough of them I really would like to collect every shade and I'm getting pretty close I have to say um, I tend to stock up on these when they're on three for two in boots so that's kind of my justification for my obsessive collection. I'm going to show you a few shades really quickly. I mean, so I've got Candy Apple. I'm just going to show you them in the tube because they're the same colour inside as the tube packaging, which when you've got as many as I have is really good because you can find them easily. Pink Truffle. Creme Brulee. This is my least favourite. This was a bit of a mistake. It's a really hyped up one and everyone was like, oh, Rihanna wears it. So I thought I'd pick it up. Didn't really like it that much. Uh, Red Velvet, only recently available in the UK. Sweet Tart. Tutti Frutti, which I'm wearing on my lips today. Sugar Plum, which was recommended to me by subscribers. And I really, really like that. So thank you for the recommendation. Raspberry Pi. And my all-time favourite is Berry Smoothie, which is number 50. I'm going to do swatches of my three favourites. So that's Berry Smoothie, just there. I'm now on my second tube of berry smoothie, so you can definitely tell that it's a favourite. Sugar Plum and Pink Truffle. So they're all in the same kind of colour family. Pink Truffle is slightly more brown undertoned, Berry Smoothie is very pink, and then Sugar Plum has kind of almost got a berry undertone, despite the fact that you'd expect Berry Smoothie to be more berry toned. I love them. I love the hydrating feel on the lips. They just feel so creamy. They're a joy to apply. You can apply them without a mirror, which I really appreciate. And that's because you can just get a sheer wash of colour if you'd like. However, they're really versatile because they can be built up, and some of the darker shades particularly, you can be quite shocked when you first try them out because they're really vibrant, pigmented colours. Um, and that's perhaps a little bit surprising because they're, I guess, somewhere between a lipstick and a lip balm. I can't rate them highly enough. They're definitely a product worth the hype, so do check them out if you haven't already. It actually took me a really long time to check them out because I thought, oh, it's just one of those products that's going to be really overhyped and then disappointing, and I don't know why I waited so long to pick them up. So um, do definitely check out the Revlon Lip Butters. If you've tried any of these products and you like them and agree that they're top 10 under 10 then do let me know in the bar below or if there's any that you really enjoy that I didn't include then I'd love to hear those as well. It, I did, I have to say I love drugstore makeup so I did have a pretty hard time narrowing this down um, and I purposefully didn't include nails because you can get so many different nail products under 10 pounds that I didn't think it would be too fair to include them. I hope that you've enjoyed this. If you haven't already subscribed, then please do so. And I will see you all soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. My favourite drugstore found Asian... <laughs> I just said that really weirdly.